Hey guys, it's Green Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episodes one and two of Magical Girl Nanoha Vivid. Okay, so this one, out of all of them, this is the one that I have not actually seen yet. Um, so of course, this is gonna be brand spanking new for me and such, but I'm guessing it's gonna focus a lot on Vivio and such. So I'm hoping and praying that you know we get you know. Faye and Nanoha, like, yes, yeah, our family and stuff, because babies, you gotta have them in the show, especially if it's about, you know, their child. I'm just saying, you know, make me, let me be a little Delulu on that shit, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, oh. Cody! Take two in three, two, one, go. Yeah, but something tells me we're actually going to be going to that world. So we time traveling in this series now? No. Look at her! And then, of course, you gotta have the queen, Nana Mizuki, singing the opening. <gasps> Look at my family! Look at my babies! Oh my god! I do like the different art style, it's really cute. Of course, of course her hair looks like her mom's. Her outfit is very similar to her mom's. That's so cute. Oh, baby. Because I was wondering, I was like, oh my God, you can't have this next series and not have them show up. That's a pretty house. That's how cute she is. <gasps> no, no, ha. No. <laughs> so fate's not living with you? Well, that's our pretty care for you.
spy. That's so cute. Which is good. <gasps> Aww. Okay, that's good. Excuse me. Yeah, so in a way you are, it sounds so. Right? <laughs> Oh. Well, here's hoping you got one. Now, okay, question I gotta ask. Now, is this the same voice actress who did her in the previous series, even though she was playing her, like, you know, when she was, like, what, four or five? Or at least six? Because she's ten now, right? Nice. Nice, you've been taught well. I mean, because she is Nana and Fate's daughter. Huh? 
<laughs> well, at least you're here. The girl, the wives, wives, they're married, married. They sleep together. I mean, you are of age. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. And it would suit her. Well, yeah. What did you think I was gonna do? It transform. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, fate. I know, I'm guessing she wanted to prize her. <laughs> you forgot! <laughs>
Yeah, Emmett kind of makes the most sense for her to transform into an adult. And then she goes back to being a kid. Hmm? Yeah, so it's okay. I mean, that is true, but... <laughs> It looks so yummy on my baby. Oh! <laughs> Short hair forever, but you look so mature. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna cry. And I get it. Like, if I was fate, I'd be like really stressed about her being like that because we all know what happened previously but it makes the most sense for her to use that form must be careful and don't hurt yourself Good.
It's a possibility, yes. It'd be like that. It's so cute. You would think Vivio would want to say to see Super and everybody else. See, this is why we don't walk by ourselves. We always walk in a group. Because she about to get attacked. But my thing is, why is our, you know, platinum silver hair looking Hatsume Miku, why is she attacking people? But she's pretty. I love her eyes. Okay. Heidi. Hatsume Miku, because she looked like Hatsume Miku in a way. She doesn't have the same color hair as Hatsume Miku, but her hair is the same style as Hatsume Miku. So, mm. but first initial thoughts, this is really cute. I mean, the art style is very, very different from our, you know, traditional Nanoha series and stuff. But it's super adorable. I love the, hold on. My stupid phone after hearing something. Um, I love the fact that it's Vivio getting the time that she deserves. Because my biggest issue going into the previous season, like, and especially how it ended... I, I was wondering what we were going to do next. I was like, are we going to just see her grow up and she's going to be older and she's going to be fighting along with her moms and everything? Um, but no, we're going to see her journey. And I think that's really sweet. I love the fact that she's getting a chance because we could have went anywhere. We could have just said, you know, screw them and just to go on to a completely set of characters. Um brand new world building and stuff but still featuring everybody from the previous series but i do love the fact is that we're still keeping it with our little wholesome family and such i love seeing everybody else like seriously they look everybody looks good in the new art style like it's super adorable i love it too much like oh my it is oh shit it was by a1 has it always been by a1 go ahead and look at that But yeah, uh, Heidi, why are you doing what you're doing? I got questions on that. Because, uh, of course, she's very suspicious and she's looking for something from her past. And it has to do with Vivio and the other and the other little girl. But I'm guessing because of the fact is we're only still at the beginning of it. We're probably not going to know until later on. So it can go any shape of way or form. And, and I'm just a little afraid because, you know, I don't need... Vivio walking alone, but I think because, you know, Nanoha, Nan I don't know if Nanoha has her on, like, a tight little leash on stuff, but she lets her do things freely, like, okay, her walking to school by herself, hanging out with friends, doing stuff after school, and then coming home, so she still possibly keeps an eye on her in some way, shape, or form, and if something did happen, you know, Nanoha is there in a heartbeat, in a snap to try to get her child, um, and fate definitely would do the exact same thing for her because they both love her dearly. Um, but now since 
Vivio can transform and defend herself. She doesn't really need Nanoha. But I'm not saying that as if, like, Nanoha's not going to be, like, featured in the show. Of course, Nanoha and Fate are definitely going to be in the show as well because it is their show at the end of the day. Nanoha's name is in the title card, for Christ's sake. And Nana Mizuki is singing the opening. So you know they're always going to be in something together. But... Yes, this first episode was really wholesome and adorable. It gave me the feels and everything. I love the new, uh, how the world building and everything is going to go. But like I said, I have even like a thousand more questions on how this is going to go. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two in three, two, one, go. Right, honey, stop hiding behind it. Well, why don't we find out? <laughs> For what though? And I mean, she just needs you with it, and girl, she push her ass back. <laughs>
She's gonna do something. Just be ready for it. Oh, damn. Right? So your mission really is over. There's nothing else you can do. Since she's probably going to transform back to that girl in the opening, huh? Yeah. She got you with that. And then next thing you know, you're like, but she's a child. <gasps> Bye. Look at her. Definitely give him some like, you know, fake grand order. I mean, well, not fake grand order, but fake, but fate feels because she is literally giving like King Arthur vibes. Even though that's Vivio. But the way Vivio looks, she looks like King Arthur like right there.
Right. Okay, good. See, I thought it would just be her memories from a past life that she just remembers, but no. I mean, in a way, kind of. Yeah. But see, the thing is, why would it be stored inside of a child, a little baby? She's just a baby at the end of the day. Now, unless she's going to be used for something else, then I get it. That would be the big reason on like storing all those memories in there for her. Because what if somebody from the past takes over her body?
Basically. She just did it to do it. Mm -hmm. I think she enjoys it. Look at Chris. <laughs> No. Hang up.
Mm-hmm. I mean, in a way, you two might be good friends, but also good enemies at the same time, too, because we know in the opening they're kicking each other's behind. Okay, so I love how <laughs> Vivio wanted to do, like, a cute little training montage exercise today. Oh, my God. Okay, now, we, I'm still going to call her Heidi for short, but... She's still very suspicious. Of course, what the fact is, the memories that she has is not clearly hers, but someone from her family. But it does make me wonder why she got those memories and such, and why there is someone who really looks 100% like Vivio. And so I'm guessing when these two do meet, they're going to clash. Like, she's immediately going to want to try to hurt Vivio. And Vivio's going to be like, hold up, like, why are you trying to hurt me and everything? Because I don't know you. So, of course, next week's episodes for three and four are going to be very suspicious in a way. And Because with everything that's going to escalate. I do also love the fact that, you know, when she came home... And she asked where Fate was because, honestly, I was thinking Fate was gone and we were just going to have her and I don't have her in a while. But I love how they got to have one cute little more moment together, which is wholesome. So I'm, I cannot speak. Oh, my God. Here's hoping that we get even more cute little moments with them together because, duh, my little happy family, I, I can't. It, it's, it's wholesome and adorable as hell. Well, I mean, yeah, Heidi slash Ironheart. She seems really nice. But, like I said, you know, looks can be deceiving. I'm still a little iffy on her, maybe, because, like I said, looks can be very deceiving and such. But right now, like I said, looking at her a little sideways until, you know, she start acting up. Because that's when we have a problem. So if she does, she does not act up. Seeing Subaru and Tia today... I mean, even though they're not, I'm guessing they're kind of living together. It seems like everybody in a way is also living together. So, you know, we, we have our couples inside. And everybody just looks so freaking good once again. Like, oh my God, I cannot with this series. And it's just going to be so good. I honestly cannot wait to see what's going to happen next in the next two episodes. But like I said, keep my eye open for some suspicious act. Because you know some suspicious ish is coming in these next few episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episodes one and two of Nana. I'm about to say Nanaha Striker. <laughs> Magical Girl, Lyrical, Nanaha Vivid. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.